Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath and it's Tips and Tricks Thursday. All right, folks, in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to attach monofilament to a wire leader without using any swivels, just like this. Before we get into this though, if you wanna learn more about fishing, grow as an angler, or just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. All right, folks, so like I said, we're gonna attach monofilament to a wire leader without using any swivel so that you can, uh, you know, get out and hook up your favorite lure like a bucktail jig, a strip bait lure, anything. Get it trolling. You can do planer trolling. You can do topwater trolling. The purpose of this application is, of course, to go for the toothy critters. Fish like barracuda, king mackerel, even wahoo, if you're going for those bigger fish off the deeper ledges of the reef. What this does is it gives you a little bit of a more stealthy approach. It subtracts the swivel from the equation, which is another piece of hardware. Also, every once in a while, you will notice that a swivel makes little bubbles and it can get tagged by a fish. So, it subtracts that and it gets your lure more in line and it looks something like this from far away. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna explain what this setup is. Basically, we've got our monofilament and we've got our wire leader. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach these without using any swivel, of course. That's the main point of this episode. What the composition of this setup is, is essentially a haywire twist connecting our lure. And then right here, the meat of the show is an Albright knot. It connects your mainline mono to your wire leader. And then we've got a few little barrel twists right here after our knot, and that solidifies the connection. All right, folks, so we're not gonna waste any more time. We're gonna get into the rigging right now. All right, to do this properly, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need about 16 to 18 inches of your wire leader. This particular wire leader is number four, 40 pound test from the company Malin. You're gonna need Haywire twist tool, if you'd like to use one, which I do. Your selected lure, which you will hook onto the business end of your leader. Cutting tool, and your main line from your reel. For this episode, we're gonna use 30 pound test. You can use whatever pound test is on your reel. I am using 30 pound test for this showcase because it shows up better against the black background. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hook our lure onto the business end of our wire leader. This is a three quarter ounce bucktail jig. We're just gonna pretend I'm gonna take it out trolling for toothy critters. So we'll feed the tag in through the eye of the lure, feed the tag in through the solid state of the haywire twist tool. We will form a loop and we will start twisting. I'm going to give it about 10 to 15 twists. Make a good haywire twist. And then we will pull our haywire twist tool out. And we've got all these little nice little twists going on here. Next thing we'll do is we will bend the tag at a 90 degree angle. And we are going to do barrel wraps so that we can fasten our haywire twist and complete it. All right, we've got some barrel wraps going on. Very good. Now to break off your tag and all you simply do is you bend it back and forth until it snaps off. And that'll give you a nice clean break along your wire leader so that you don't get snagged on it. And there you go. Now your lure is attached to your wire leader. You're good to go. You're gonna wanna attach your lure first and I'll show you why, because it's gonna be able to give you some resistance when you go to attach your mono to the other end. All right, so now that we've got our lure attached to our wire leader, it's time to attach the mono to it without any swivel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a loop in our wire leader. Do not pinch it, do not uh, kink it. Make sure you got a loop. Then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the tag end of our monofilament and we are going to bring it from the back of this loop through to the front. 
we're going to pull out about six to eight inches of tack. Now, we will grab all three strands here, the main line wire, the tag wire, and the tag of our main monofilament. And we're simply going to pinch them. Now the next thing we'll do is we are going to wrap our monofilament tag back up towards the tip of the loop six to seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we're gonna send the tag back through the loop, but we want it to go the opposite way. So if your main line is coming out from the back side through to the front side, you want your tag to come from the back side through to the front side. So you simply take it and you pull it through and now we are here at this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a little bit of a cinch. Now what we're going to do, this is why you hook your lure on first. We'll take it and we're going to hook it on to the end of our workbench over here. And we are simply going to pull on the main line end of our wire leader and we are going to cinch this knot right here down. And there you have it. And you just pull on it as tight as you can and it won't come undone. So, now what we have here is our tag. We're going to clip it off from our main line. And you can pull on that and that's not coming undone. Okay? Now, We've got our lure attached to our wire leader without a swivel. Now the next step is we have this tag here on our wire leader. It's a long tag. We don't necessarily want that. So what we can do is at this point you can either cut it off as close to your knot as you want to. Or what I like to do is I'll take it and I'll give it a little bit of a 90 degree bend. And I'm simply going to wrap it around the mainline portion of it just a couple times, almost like I'm doing little barrel wraps. And then we will sort of snap it off in the same fashion as we did on the haywire twist. You just bend it back and forth and it'll give you a nice clean break on your tag. That way nothing will get snagged. You're good to go. That right there is how you fasten monofilament to wire leader without, and I'm pulling on it, it ain't coming undone. That's how you fasten monofilament to wire leader without using any swivels. You take that, you troll it around, going for the toothy critters. All right, folks, and so there you have it. That is how you attach monofilament to wire leader without any swivel. It is super strong, super tough, and super effective. Like I said, it adds that stealth factor to your presentation when trolling for the toothy critters. It also eliminates the swivel, which periodically will get hit because it's a shiny little thing that travels through the water and almost looks like a little bait fish. And again, we can use bucktail jigs, we can use deep diving lures, we can use strip bait lures. This can be used for planer trolling, it can be used for topwater trolling, it can be used for high speed trolling. Anything where you are going after toothy critters, this is going to help you get into the bite simply because of that stealth factor. Alright folks, that about does it for this episode. I hope you had fun, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you learned how to connect your monofilament mainline to your wire leader without using a swivel. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us.